Disclaimer. I do not support the Iranian regime, nor do I condone their policies and gross human rights violations. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into the video. Greetings from the Sarge. In today's video, we will learn about Iran's latest main battle tank in service, the Karar, meaning striker in English. We'll learn about its specifications soon, but first, let's go over the Karar's development history. The Karar was announced in February of 2016 by the former Deputy Commander-in-Chief of the Iranian Army, Brigadier General Ahmad Riza Portistan, after the Iranian military failed to obtain the license and technology to produce Russian T-90MS tanks. A few months later, in August of 2016, the Iranian regime uploaded a slick video of the Karar tank conducting military trials, or something like that, in the Iranian desert. Anyways, on March 12th of 2017, after the uh, Karar was officially unveiled to the public, Iranian Defense Minister Brigadier General Hossein Deghan announced that the Karar would undergo mass production at the Bani Hashim Defense Industrial Complex. As of today, according to the IRGC, over 800 Karar tanks have been produced. Now that we've learned about the Karar's development history, let's go over the Karar's design and specifications. The Karar is based on the Soviet-made T-72S main battle tank, and is pretty much a heavily modified T-72S. The Karar has a hexagonal welded turret, with the tank commander on the right and the gunner on the left. The Karar is armed with a 125mm 2A46 smoothbore gun and a remotely operated MGD 12.7mm machine gun mounted on the roof of the turret. Like most Soviet tanks, the Karar consists of a carousel-type autoloader and is operated by a three-man crew, the gunner, driver, and commander. The tank's interior is fitted with cameras, a satellite navigation system, and a digital instrument panel. The Karar also has impressive optics, as the tank's periscopes have a day-slash-night infrared camera, giving the commander the possibility to survey the battlefield in any lighting and weather conditions. The gunner's sight has a searchlight on the right side of the tank that can be used during night operations. The commander's periscope and the gunner's sight are connected to the tank's fire control system, which calculates the firing calculation needed to hit a target with a maximum accuracy, whether stationary or moving, during the day or night. According to the Iranian military, the Karar is supposedly fitted with the latest generation of Iranian composite armor and explosive reactive armor. The ERA panels are mounted on the hull and turret to protect the tank from anti-tank munitions and other projectiles. We're uncertain of what engine powers the Karar, but some analysts believe that the Karar is powered by a 1200 horsepower diesel engine. According to Iranian sources, the Karar has a top speed of 70 kilometers per hour and a range of 550 kilometers without needing to refuel. Overall, despite all the economic sanctions imposed on the Islamic Republic of Iran, the country has managed to develop a very powerful tank with advanced optics and a powerful engine in large quantities with a little help from Russia. But that's up for debate, even though it seems obvious that Russia played a role in the Karar's development. Plus, despite being a formidable machine, the Karar is inferior to modern Russian, Chinese, and Western tanks, as it's pretty much a knockoff T-90MS tank, as the two tanks look very similar to each other. Anyways, that will conclude this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to smash the like button and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel to keep the show running, and have a great rest of your day. The Sarge is out.